Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today is Wednesday, December 17th, 2014, and there's been in the news about this one black F-250 pickup truck that has been seen over in Syria with the ISIS group, even having this anti-aircraft gun put on the back. And the thing is that there, this company is real, and it's really in Galveston, Texas, Mark One Plumbing. And he's even getting a lot of different phone calls and threats and stuff because this has been shown on Twitter. The man that owns the plumbing company had sold the truck to a dealership. And a lot of these trucks are bought and actually put into the big metal containers and shipped overseas. Is You know, they get them pretty cheap over there, and they want them over there. Well, that's how this actually ended up over there. My channel, I show how all of this is actually spiritual, and that even right here is another message that we're nearing the end of days. I will show all of this. All of these are signs for triggers for me to notice all of these things. We have the mark, like the mark of the beast coming. We have the black truck, like the, the rider of the black horse of the apocalypse. I've shown all the signs that ISIS is even being run by most of the world elite governments and is part of the beast system that will rise up. The British royal family and the secret governments want all this to happen. It's all in the Bible to happen. As we're going to show that this actually represents the grievous head wound of the Bible coming all through here. Let's check this out here first. City company pictured in a tweet that looks like it's coming from a terrorist organization. And now the company is getting threats and is worried for their comp their employees' safety. Alice Barr joined us live with the story all new at 6. Alice. Her sound is out for a few moments. Here we go. There you go. The phones are ringing off the hook. Too many phone calls. Phone calls, we've had to take the phone, uh, phones off the hook. At Mark One Plumbing in Texas City, for a reason no one here could have ever imagined. People think that you are aiding and abetting terrorists. Right, right. It's all because of this photo, posted on an Islamic militant group's Twitter feed. It shows one of the company's old work trucks turned into an anti-aircraft firing weapon on the front lines of Syria's civil war. We had no intentions or no idea that this would even happen. Jeff Oberholzer traded the truck in himself in November of last year. Everything was traded in and it was gone. Here at this AutoNation dealership on the Gulf Freeway in Houston, a spokesman here told us the truck immediately went to auction and likely traded owners over and over before apparently winding up in the hands of Islamic terrorists a world away. Something that we, we, we would use to pull trailers and things like that. I mean, to now a truck to be used in terror. I mean, that's crazy. So you can see all of that right there going on, you know, this poor man. But anyways, my thing is that all of these are meant to be done. As I keep showing, these are spiritual things being done. There's no way to have this man's truck end up over there, then end up on Twitter, and even have the, the words Mark 1 right on it just by him, just like the Mark of the Beast coming and the, the Horseman of the Apocalypse coming, all of this right here in front of us, unless it's spiritually done. Not even the Illuminati, the Freemasons could get all of this to happen in this way. That's what I keep showing on my channel. These are messages from God right in front of you. I was woken up by God several years ago and told to go and show all of these things. We're going to show right at Mark 1 Plumbing in Galveston, Texas, another message. God said he will show signs in the heavens and on the earth in the end days, in the book of Acts 217. That's what we're going to do. This is another sign, and we're going to go right over there and even mapped out on the earth is going to show the grievous head wound of the Bible is coming. We're nearing the end of days, and the mark of the beast is coming. This is Washington, D.C. First off, we'll show how this is done. See District of Columbia right here. This represents Washington, D.C. See right over here? The President's Park and everything. Washington. 
Washington, D.C. Right up over here, it's going to show the exact same thing we're going to show over at the, the gentleman's plumbing place. You can see right here, this jet. See this jet? It represents the grievous head wound of the Bible coming and the Ark of Jesus' Testament when it rises. Because you see how it says the eagle's nest? It represents in the Bible when the woman is granted the wings of an eagle during an ellipse, which means a type of an alignment that will be happening and going on. And this rising happens and it represents the Pope receiving the grievous head wound. You can see the Pope right there. See how this is punching the Pope in the face? This represents the serpent receiving the grievous head wound. The USA and the Vatican are hit and struck and then Russia and the ten nations rise up to start their new world order and such. And the secret government of the USA. How is this all here? Because the Bible is perfect and everything is going according to the scripture of the Bible. Why is the, the bad side even showing these things? Because it's a balance. There's no way to get to the new world order until these types of things happen. Each side is a perfect balance as the new world order gets ready to come. And then the little horn of the Bible rises. See this guy right here? Now here's a little bit about dates. We can see a 26 here. We don't know about numbers or dates. But there that is right there. That's the eagle nest. The eagle rising. See on the bottom of here? This represents the harp machine also when a giant earthquake will be caused by what's known as the harp machine. And it's even meant to be done. We're going to go show this exactly at that person's Mark I Plumbing's house. You see how this is shooting the cannon out of the back? And it's like launching the truck, literally, and launching the Mark of the Beast. And, and the third horseman, with the first and second horseman, the third horseman has also been called Justice because he carries a pair of scales, a pair of balances, which means famine and war is coming, and the wages of sin are death all through there. So let's go show it. That, this represents the mark of the beast coming and the grievous head wound, and when they all rise back up. See, they receive the grievous head wound and they rise back up. Even the Russian Orthodox Church is all prepared by the Jesuits of the Vatican. The Russian Orthodox Church is a mimic of the Catholic Church. It, they're all ready to rise back up. This is the grievous head wound coming. So let's head over to that guy's property. Mark 1 Plumbing in Galveston. Right here. Right there. It's at 1030 North Pine Road. Right here is exactly where that plumber's place is. We're going to show the exact same thing we just showed. Heaven is shown like a boot, like a foot, like Jesus Christ's foot, literally. It's called the shoulder of the bull. Here is the Pope figure again. See how he even has like a horn? He's the little horn ready to rise in the Bible. Right here is the ship, Jesus' Ark of His Testament. When this launches, it represents the grievous head wound happening also, and the souls are caught away. And we go over and see how we can go across this plane from him and into this boot right here. On the shoulder of the bull, this is a map of the stars. Jesus Christ says that in his right hand will be heaven. He holds the seven stars, the seven angels, the seven golden candlesticks, the seven churches, the seven sisters, is seen as the Pallades, where God said he has all of the sweet influence bound in one place, right here. It's seen like a boot, like a foot. It's also known as the mercy seat of Christ. Jesus passes us over the horns of this bull. See the horns of the bull? And we go right into the mercy seat of Christ. You have the Ark of the Covenant representing the law. Taurus the bull represents the law. And then you have the two cherubs that are on either side. And then Jesus said, put a mercy seat in between them. So you have the mercy seat, the two cherubs, and the red bull. That represents the Ark of the Covenant, literally, right there. And we have to get over the horns of the bull 
and go in by the mercy seat. The bull will kill and destroy by the law. The wages of sin are death. That's what that means. By mercy alone are you saved. And you get into heaven. Right there. It's seen like a foot. Like the leg of the bull is what it's even called. Right there. See us crossing from here to here? For those that like Star Trek, you'll like this. 1764. The USS Defiant is the NCC 1764. You enter your prize. You receive your rewards. Exactly as Jesus promised. You see that? This is right in front of you. Now take your time and see it. Does it matter if you can really grasp and understand this? No. This is really happening. See him firing right out of the back? Launching the mark of the beast? See right there like the wrath of the lamb all coming? One of the best ways to realize this is that the end times is also considered to be the wrath of the lamb. In other words, it, it's going to happen. Jesus is going to test the world. Look at that. Perfect. There's no way to fake this. It can't be done. This is an actual spiritual message to you from God in the most unique ways that everybody will ignore. Only you, only the people that are watching this on my channel all day long will, will see any of this. And most of them will not believe it even. Most people have come to think of me as just as entertainment. Just like me showing this is just entertainment. Literally. No, this is a message from God. The grievous head wound is coming. World War III is coming. The mark of the beast is coming. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Everything is being fulfilled. Acts 217 is being fulfilled. Jesus Christ and his promises to reveal everything at the end of days is being fulfilled. Prepare. We don't know the time or date. We can see right here another 25. See the 25 as we saw the 26 over there by the other grievous head wound. Thank you very much, everybody. And the plane, the jet here, could also mean another type of 911 event to get it all going. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah.